Hey folks, my name is Dan and this is Lemon Angles. Whiteboard tips and trips for your tips and trips, tricks and tips for your ESL class. Let's go! This time on Lemon Angles Whiteboard Tips and Tricks for your ESL class, the Honeycomb Game. It's a 10 minute prep and it's for advanced students. It's a great team dynamic of student versus student, but it also works really well with private class. Let's go! Breakdown of the Honeycomb Game. So you draw your grid of honeycombs. You can draw up to 50 or 100. Uh, about 50 will take about an hour of class and about 20 is about 30 minutes. So keep that in mind. Then you randomly place one point and two points. and three points. Three being the highest point value. If you have two teams, then you have two pieces they play with, okay, each. Three teams, you'll have three different pieces, and with four, you'll have four different pieces. That's two teams, two pieces, three teams, three pieces, four teams, four pieces. And when you finally have everything set up, you got the points, you got the grid, you got the vocabulary inside each column, each team will first choose a location, and that location that they choose must be a one-point location. The next step is to say you can move in a straight line either way. The only thing is, is that you can't pass yourself or you can't pass other teammates. And you can't land in the same place as another item. They can't go dangling and they can't jump over open spaces. Now this is how you get points. You'll get the point of your previous location. So this is the setup, we're ready to go. Blue team says, I want to go to three. They go down here to three. They'll get the previous location, which is one point. So the next time that they go after yellow's turn, they can start at the three point position and move to another three point position, and they'll get this previous three points. Is your mind exploding yet? It's going to, it's going to be a little tricky at first when you're explaining the rules to the students explaining it to regular native English speakers might be difficult. So you might have to use a little Japanese. And, and if any case, I mean, that's okay. But the point is to use the expression and use the vocabulary. Or you could spend about an extra 10 minutes explaining it in English. That's, a, that's about how long it takes. I actually played this game with kindergarten, but instead of using vocabulary or expressions, we just use pictures like animals or food. I've drawn my grid here, and I've numbered one through three, just randomly anywhere you want to put. And I'll elicit vocabulary from the students. In this case, I'm using places you can visit. Alright students, I need a few more places. Can I get a city? Austin. Austin, great. Yeah. Keep it weird. Uh, can I get a country? Africa. No, Africa is not a country. Sorry. It's a continent. Egypt. Yes! Egypt is a country! Good! You can use any expression that you like. In this case, I'm using, I want to go to Paris. And we have, I went to Paris, it was beautiful, or it was horrible. Okay, blue team, where would you like to go? I want to go to Rome. Rome. Okay, yellow team, where would you like to go? I want to go to Ireland. Ireland. Great. Back to blue team, where do you want to go? Tokyo. Wonderful. And yellow team, where do you want to go? The beach. Great. Blue team, you are first. I went to Rome. How was it? It was great. Great. Where do you want to go to next? I want to go to Seoul. To Seoul. Okay. You're at Seoul and you get one point from your previous location, which was Rome. And this location <laughs> is no longer available. Okay, yellow team, where did you go? I went to the beach. The beach? Okay, very nice. How was it? It was okay. Where do you want to go to next? I want to go to the library. The library. You got it. So you'll get one point for going to the beach, and the beach is no longer available. Okay, blue team, back to you. Where did you go? I went to Seoul. It was beautiful. Very good. And where do you want to go? I want to go to the movies. Huh? You can't go here because this space is open. You can't jump over an open space. You can go here, you can go to the mountains, so you can go all the way to Taiwan if you like. I'm gonna go to the mountains. The mountains, okay. 
and you'll get three points for going to Seoul. And Seoul is no longer available. Okay, yellow team, where did you go? Okay, now, yellow team, you are about to be out of one piece. You can no longer move anywhere. You can't move on to the same location as blue, and you can't move to any open place. So this is your last place for this guy, okay? So you'll go to France, all right? How was it? It was horrible. Yeah, okay, you'll get those two points, but because you can't move anywhere, sorry, your piece is no longer available. All right, so Blue, you just left London. Now Kyoto is out there by himself. And it looks like no one's going to be able to go to Kyoto because you can't cross any open spaces. So, Kyoto is bye-bye. Okay, Yellow, you're going to move to take me to Turkey. Turkey, but be careful. If you go to Turkey, you can't move anymore and your piece will be gone, all right? Take me to Turkey. Are you sure? Take me to Turkey. All right. Dum, 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 team. So, Yellow team, looks like you're finished with last place and of course blue is blocked off so blue can't go anywhere this piece is gone blue will get those two points okay and now this other blue piece can go anywhere they want so they'll have all these places is available to them so that's three four five six nine eleven thirteen fourteen sixteen so blue team wins with one million points <laughs> Okay, folks, that was the honeycomb game. Now, this game is really for older students or at least high level. But again, you don't have to use vocabulary. You can just use pictures, like I said, with the kindergartners. Well, have fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching Lemonade with Whiteboard Tips and Tricks for your ESL class. Remember to subscribe and like this video. And like this video. And like this video.